Good morning, everybody. In July of 2020, my administration put forth the Clean Energy Plan, an ambitious plan to set Cook County on the track to achieve several straightforward goals that would have a tremendous impact on the county's energy use across 171 buildings and 19 million square feet of space. Today, I'm excited to announce another step closer to our goal of 100% renewable energy by 2030. Our teams at the Department of Facilities Management, the Bureau of Asset Management, and Cook County Health Buildings and Grounds Department partnered with People's Gas, which is represented here today, to implement multiple natural gas saving measures across several buildings in our portfolio. The work involved a high level of coordination from our tradespeople at the Department of Facilities Management and Buildings and Grounds to ensure that there would be no interruption to operations. I'm grateful for their commitment to implementing these changes, which we're excited for the policy changes set forth in the Clean Energy Plan. We know that it is the skilled in-house tradespeople working on the ground that have to carry out these measures that make a difference. We're grateful to People's Gas for their willingness to partner with the county on these measures and advance our commitment to clean energy. They generously provided 1.5 million, well, actually 1.45, almost 1.5 million incentives that covered 100% of the cost of the work. Because of this program, we're expected to save 900,000 therms annually or the equivalent of the energy use of 600 homes for a year, and a utility cost savings of $723,000 every year. These energy savings represent nearly 8% a total reduction in our natural gas footprint and required no capital investment, no capital investment from the county. These cost savings are not only smart financial decisions, but environmentally sound and their important changes that as we continue to look toward the future and take measures to fight climate change right here at home in Cook County. And we've seen, of course, across the South this past week, the devastating effects of, of climate change in the um, severity and, and magnitude of hurricanes, for example. I'd like to reiterate my gratitude to the, to the teams across Cook County that made this possible, as well as People's Gas, for their partnership with us. Projects like this are not easy, and energy efficiency and smart, sustainable policy does not happen overnight. Together, we can move closer to the ambitious goals set by our clean energy plan to become leaders in sustainability. Now I'd like to turn it over to Jean Gibson, People's Gas Manager of Energy Efficient Programs. And before I conclude, I'd like to thank David Jones for being our sign language interpreter. Good morning, everyone. My name, is Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Jean Gibson. I am manager of energy efficiency programs for People's Gas, and I get to serve our business customers in our community. So those are our largest skyscrapers, our industrial customers, and our small businesses throughout the city. Sorry about that. And all businesses in between. And importantly, public sector customers like Cook County. I would like to extend a warm thank you to President Preckwinkle for inviting us here this morning. It's a pleasure to be with her, here with her, as well as the dedicated team who has done all of this important work. Before we get too far along, I want to share a little bit about how we got here today. In early 2021, Cook County was working with us on a single pneumatic thermostat, wireless pneumatic thermostat, at 69 West Washington, but their staff was a little unsure about how our programs worked and if they were worthwhile going through. However, going through this program, we were able to show them that it was worth getting through the applications, the paperwork, the approvals for projects and approvals for contractors, as well as the budgets. That's a lot of hurdles for a public sector customer to overcome. However, through our work on this initial project, we were able to demonstrate the value of our program and the team to their chief, West, the chief facility manager at West Washington, the newly retired Jim Vale. We worked hard to overcome these hurdles unique to the public sector customers of Cook, like Cook County, and we did things to lighten the administrative load, like we helped with filling out paperwork or working with project approvals, and then we increased our incentives to do the work. Finally, we streamlined our payment processes directly to contractors to make sure the project work could get completed. We are grateful that Jim endorsed our program to your Cook County Energy Manager, Jamie Myers, and from there, our partnership has really grown. 
the Cook County team has acted as proactive problem-solving cha energy champions. Together, we have made significant strides in delivering impacts throughout Cook County facilities. And some of those positive impacts include saving energy and reducing energy costs, improving operations, reducing maintenance, which can lengthen the life of some of the equipment, as well as co avoid costly mechanical issues in the future, all while enhancing the safety and comfort of these spaces. We have completed 23 projects with Cook County in the last 18 months, and for anybody out there doing your fast math, that's about one and a quarter projects per month, which is a really amazing pace. We focused on the co county's largest energy users, such as the Cook County Jail, the Juvenile Detention Center, the Department of Homeland Security and Energy Management, Provident Hospital, and Stroger Hospital. And a fun fact I want to share with you about Stroger Hospital, as we reflected back on our accomplishments in 2021, we found that Stroger Hospital was our largest project that year and completed 193,000 therms reduced at that one facility. In these facilities, we made savings improvements by tuning up boilers so they operated efficiently, installing pipe insulation, which is really important because it keeps heat inside the pipes as the heat travels through the building. And we completed multiple steam trap replacements, which are also important to make sure that the traps don't let valuable steam energy escape and be wasted. Beyond these operational and maintenance changes, we also completed three ASHRAE Level 2 studies and two engineering studies at different Cook County facilities. These in-depth evaluations gave us a really good road map to continue making impacts together in the future. Through our energy efficiency work done with Cook County in these last 18 months, they have saved an impressive 900,000 therms, and the People's Gas Energy Efficiency Program delivered more than 1.4 $1.45 million in incentives to make these important improvements. These 900,000 therms saved by Cook County is a really big step towards a clean energy future, and in fact is the equivalent to having planted more than 56,000 acres of trees, or reducing 4,800 4, tons of carbon. And our work is not done. We are in phase three of that initial wireless pneumatic thermostat project that brought us all here to get today and have a number of other projects in progress right now. All of these accomplishments are attributed to tight, to tight collaboration between our program team, including Jim Hauser, our energy manager, and J Jamie Myers in the facilities team, and the managers, energy managers at the buildings, plus that early introduction from Jim Vale. Jamie, I'm not gonna steal your thunder. I know you have more to share with us today, but I wanna share my deepest and sincerest thanks to the whole team. We applaud your achievements. And if President Preckwinkle, I can invite you up. Without further ado, on behalf of People's Gas Energy Efficiency Program, I'd like to present you with this award, recognizing the impressive achievements Cook County has done towards energy savings goals. Thank you. We're proud of our partnership with you, and we look forward to continuing making contributions to your sustainability goals. Congratulations right. to you and your Thank team. You. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, my name is Jamie Myers, and I'm the energy manager with Cook County. Um, you've heard a lot of great statistics today, um, so I'm going to share a couple stories because a wise former highway superintendent encouraged me to always tell my story, so that's where I'll start. Um, in October of 2021, Jim Hauser, uh, representing People's Gas, had called me and talked about the great program that People's Gas uh, had to help customers reduce natural gas usage. Uh, it was good that it was a phone call so you could not see the giant eye roll that I did when I heard this statement. <laughs> um, I listened politely and then I told Jim that People's Gas and I have tried to get something launched each year for the last four years and we kept running into roadblocks. Jim simply said, I'm sorry to hear that, but I am confident that we will figure this out. And we finally cracked the code. Uh, we completed 23 projects that as you heard will save 900,000 therms per year. Um, to put that in perspective, that's approximately 937 Chicago homes heating for one year um, or heating my home for the next 937 years. <laughs> um, this is the type of project that makes sustainability geeks like me go, whoa, I wish we could do that. And you know what? We did do that. We is the key word in all of this. None of this could have happened without the dedication and teamwork performed by the great group of people that are here today. I want to share another story that exemplifies this teamwork. 
uh, one of the projects identified was the replacement of high pressure steam traps. Um, in order to do this, you have to turn the steam off. Well, this gets very complicated, expensive, when your facility operates 24 seven, unless there's already a planned and scheduled shutdown. Through the discussion, uh, through discussions and teamwork with our trade allies, uh, members of DFM, um, we found a way to replace 38 steam traps during a scheduled shutdown. Uh, we brought in a, a large group of um, uh, contractors and we got this all done during the scheduled shutdown, save the energy without any additional cost to the county. This type of teamwork is how Cook County becomes a sustainability leader that will inspire others to follow. Uh, there are a lot of people I'd like to thank for getting these projects done. President Prykwiko, thank you for making sustainability and fighting climate change a priority in your administration. Uh, Bilkis Jacobs L, <laughs> see that you joined us. Um, she's director of facilities management. Thank you for creating an environment that empowers our engineers to find savings opportunities and work to make them happen. Uh, Jim Hauser, thank you for helping us crack the code, supporting our engineers and removing my doubt. Brian Young and Pat Nolan with the Department of Facilities Management, thank you for your additional time, effort, and open willingness to work with People's Gas to support and provide guidance to make these projects happen. David Radovich and Cy Hickey with the Health and Hospitals Buildings and Grounds Group, thank you for your time and efforts to support these projects. To our partners at MBRE, Jeff Gannon, Scott Guzik and Chris Deans, thank you for being open to listen to these ideas and enact these projects on behalf of the county. Finally, I would like to thank our trade allies for your flexibility and professionalism in completing these projects. Mike Murray with affi Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, Jason McGuire with Nelson Insulation Company, Angelo Constantinitis with Delta Heating, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration, and Ted Owen with Owen Energy Solutions. I am proud to be a part of this team and I'm excited to see what we're gonna do this year. Thank you all very much for being here this morning. All right, thank you. Uh, where is our, yes, Audrey? If not, we'll take pictures in front of the podium. Not, okay, come on, let's come up and take some pictures. Okay. 